A warm welcome to all Tibet lecturers. I am Gyan Krishna from Atmillan, and I'm going to tell you about the recent updates to the Farming Technology and Mechanization N5 curriculum. Farming Technology and Mechanization is the new name for the subject that used to be known as Maintenance Management Farming, which was the 1996 curriculum. The updated curriculum will be implemented in July 2023. Lecturers and students will need the latest textbooks. We recommend TVET First's excellent Farming Technology and Mechanization N5 Students Book and Lecturer's Guide, which have been approved by the DHET. The logo, Revised Curriculum 2023, tells you that this book covers the 2023 curriculum in full. Later in this video, I will show you how the TVET First books will help you implement the revised curriculum with ease. But now, let's focus on the curriculum itself. The aim of the new syllabus is to give farming students a general introduction to a range of practical skills that are needed on a farm. This should give students the confidence and skills to tackle the challenges that are part of farm life. The module names are still the same, as well as a sequence of modules. However, the learning content has changed in places and more detail has been added. In Module 1, on Engines, the learning objective covering two-stroke engines and rotary engines has been removed from the 2023 revised curriculum. In Module 2, on Drives, the learning objectives on clutches and gearboxes have been removed. This leaves just the content on final drives and elementary diagnostic procedures. Module 8 has the most changes. The content on foundations and floors has been removed, as well as the content on walls with doors and windows. Module 7 contains a new learning objective on electrical wiring. Students are required to perform connections of and tests on basic electrical wiring. Students have to produce a wiring diagram of a distribution board and its components. They must identify and discuss electrical earthing equipment. These are important aspects when running a farm. Module 8 also has new content. The students need to compare and explain the different types of materials and fixing methods used for ceilings. They learn the advantages and disadvantages of each type of ceiling material. Roofs and roof covers are another addition to Module 8 in the 2023 curriculum. It comprises six new learning objectives, which include making sketches of the woodwork and eaves. Students will have to know the names of roofs and different types and materials for roofs. They also need to explain the sequence of erecting a roof structure for a gable roof. Yes, these are Module 3 on brakes, Module 4 on wheels, tires and suspension, Module 5 on Service Lubrication and Maintenance, and Module 6 on Welding. Weightings have changed. As seen in the table on your screen, two changes stand out. These are the reduced weighting of Module 2 on Drives from 15 to 8%, and the increased weighting for Module 4 on Wheels, Tires and Suspension from 7 to 13 percent. The composition of final marks has changed. In the new curriculum, 40 percent of the promotion mark comes from the semester mark and 60 percent from the final examination mark. The 
The semester mark has three components. These are a one-hour written test counting 50 marks, an open book practical assignment over two to three days counting 100 marks, and a three-hour internal examination counting 100 marks. The TVET First Farming Technology and Mechanization N5 Students Book is the ideal textbook to guide students successfully through the complete revised curriculum. The language is clear and there are explanations of all terminology. There is a full glossary at the back of the book. There are many clearly labeled diagrams which make learning easier. There are plenty of varied activities to consolidate the student's knowledge and prepare them for the examinations. There are summaries at the end of each module which help students to review their work as they study to revise as part of exam preparation. The summative assessments offer excellent practice and can be used as class tests. The TVET First Lectures Guide is a crucial part of your daily teaching. It includes detailed answers to all the activities in the textbook. The Lectures Guide also contains a suggested six-month teaching plan, an overview of the learning objectives per module to help you plan your lessons, as well as a photocopyable lesson plan template. TVET First textbooks are approved by the DHET and trusted by lecturers. For the best results, trust TVET First. Thank <laughs> you.